Hey everyone, welcome back to Fame Finder. We've got some juicy updates about Meghan Markle that you won't want to miss. Before we dive in, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for the latest in entertainment news. As you know, Meghan and her husband Prince Harry stepped down as senior working royals in 2020 and moved to California, seeking more freedom and financial independence. However, Meghan's actions since moving to the U.S suggests she might have ulterior motives beyond just gaining independence. Meghan's background is much more modest than other royal brides like Kate Middleton. She's a former TV actress best known for her role on the legal drama Suits. Growing up in Los Angeles, Meghan attended Northwestern University, graduating with a degree in theater and international studies. While she initially brought an air of glamour and Hollywood flair to the monarchy, her lack of blue blood would make it very difficult for her to have a career in law enforcement here in the United States, one of her rumored post-royal ambitions. Word on the royal grapevine is that Meghan expressed interest in becoming a detective with the LAPD or FBI after stepping back from royal duties. Can you imagine a former actress turned royal going undercover to bust crime rings in L.A.? It seems far-fetched. Insiders at both the LAPD and FBI have said there's no way Meghan would be hired as a detective or agent. Her celebrity status and lack of professional law enforcement experience make her wildly unqualified, and her high-profile nature would present serious conflicts of interest and security issues. So, if becoming a detective was unlikely, what else could Meghan do to stay in the spotlight and earn outside of the royal family? That's where things get interesting. Rumor has it Meghan was turned down to represent luxury jeweler Cartier as their brand ambassador last year. Word is Meghan personally reached out, expressing interest in partnering with the iconic brand to promote their pieces. However, Cartier executives were concerned about associating with someone whose reputation had become controversial and divisive after Meg sit. They reportedly felt Meghan's celebrity was too polarizing and didn't align with their ultra-elite clientele. Ouch. Now here's where the story takes an odd turn. Just a few months after being turned down by Cartier, rumors started swirling that Meghan had secretly been gifted expensive pieces from Cartier's prestigious Panther de Cartier collection, including a diamond tennis bracelet worth over $50,000. Photos emerged purportedly showing Meghan wearing the bracelet, implying Cartier had changed their minds and welcomed her as a client after all. However, Cartier came out strongly denying they had worked with or gifted Meghan anything at all, stating they had no business relationship with her. Some have speculated this was all a PR stunt concocted by Meghan and her team to get back at Cartier for rejecting her and make it seem like she was still in their good graces. The photos of Meghan with the Cartier bracelet have also been called into question as to whether it was actually Cartier or something resembling it from a different brand. If the rumors are true that Meghan orchestrated this whole fake affiliation with Cartier for revenge, it shows some troubling tendencies. It suggests she hasn't let go of past grievances and is willing to mislead the public to restore some of the prestige she lost after Megxit. It also positions her as someone who uses people and associations mainly as a means to an end to advance her own interests and brand, with little regard for truth or the reputations of others. Even more concerning are suggestions from royal commentators that Meghan's behavior since moving to California has displayed signs of narcissism, entitlement, and a lack of accountability. Everything must always be about promoting her ideals and agenda even if it involves distorting facts or truth. She also seems incapable of seeing any perspective but her own, or handling any criticism gracefully. While we don't know Megan personally, and it's impossible to diagnose her psychology, the mounting evidence of embellished stories, selective leaking, and retaliating against perceived slights is starting to paint a troubling pattern. Someone with Meghan's massive global platform and wealth should be focused on uniting and uplifting, not aggrieving or taking revenge on past rejections through questionable means. So, what do you think about Meghan's actions and the rumors surrounding her? 
let us know in the comments below. And remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates. Thanks for watching FameFinder.